Hey, what's up guys? This is Smirk, uh, continuing with my $15 League Finder. This is part two. Um, let's just jump right into it. Just a quick reminder, we are um, trying to maximally exploit our opponent, and we're going from thinking about a general population tendency in a $15 game to figuring out this guy more specifically and adjusting and adapting to him. Uh, so far, we don't have too much other than he doesn't seem like a very high-level thinking player, which is basically as expected at the 15s, and he's it looks like he might be capable of bluffing after we show weakness. So we'll keep those two things in mind. And again, like I said in my last video, I would be uh, min-raising or two and a half timesing instead of three timesing pre. Um, pretty close here, I think, between c-betting and checking back. I would c-bet just because I'd want to keep the aggression up versus this guy and uh, let him turn his hands, let him turn his value hands face up. I think he's going to be pretty easy to play post, and I don't really think the expectation is much better checking back here than betting. So uh, I think it's really close here between c betting and, and checking back. And now it's played, I would just uh, check it down. Um, I still like the one thing I like about c betting is we do get value from draws that that don't hit, but more importantly, I think we just protect our very weak showdown value on this board um, a little bit better uh, by by bet going ahead and betting out and c betting. And I think also, um, given that we have equity, it's probably a good spot to to stay aggressive. So I'd rather check back on a more wet board, um, board that has a, more hand combinations and villains range that hit it. Uh, Jack six three just doesn't have too much that that I'm worried about. So I would I would go ahead and bet. 